Welcome back, Santa Clarita Valley. We're here on your neighborhood watch, brought to you by All American Bail Bonds on your hometown station. Deputy Kevin Duxbury from the Santa Clarita Valley Sheriff Station Crime Prevention Unit in the studio. I got to take a breath on that title. It's just too long, Deputy Duxbury. Can my wife, that? my wife is texting me saying I'm not close enough to the mic, so I guess you I gotta gotta move closer. up a little bit. Here. You better listen. Yeah, I can share that intro with you if you want to do half. I'll do the other half. You know. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that that makes sense. I don't know if that's a little too much. <laughs> finishing each other's sentences. I don't know if we're there yet. Doc. I, I like, we gotta on, I like on the on the news when they say "back to you, Perry." <laughs> <laughs> we'll practice our swings at the commercial break. Okay, but, sounds but good. We got Justin here, so you know, it's <laughs> amateur hour. But uh, no, I wanted to mention it because you are the, the zone leader for Stevenson Ranch, and we have a I uh, have special bulletin in front of me from the Santa Clarita Valley Sheriff Stations, Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. It has Sheriff Jim McDonald on the title. He's at the top of the list, Very the top good. of the page. As so you should be. <laughs> on April 9th, 2015, at approximately 1.30 in the morning, the Stevenson Ranch Water Fountain, an iconic feature of the West Side. Everybody knows the big fancy fountain. Even it's Justin like Disneyland knows. big. Yeah it's, yeah, it's neat. I like it. <laughs> the Stevenson Ranch Water Fountain was vandalized, causing significant damage. Three males driving a white four-door Honda with a possible license plate of six... Well, we have some stars here because we, we have a partial plate. It's partial six. Plate. Right. It's six. I didn't notice the star, 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 one, one. So the first number is six. Apparently, this is hilarious to Help Justin. Is he on the suspect <laughs> list? Can we can we check him out? Can we rule him out for motive and, and opportunity? Um, so these three males were driving a white Ford or Honda. Uh, with a, we have a partial plate, which is on our, our website, hometownstation.com. We have a picture of the car in case you recognize it, again, on our website. They were seen leaving the location about that time, one thirty. Um, anyone having information about the possible identification of these individuals, call the sheriff station at 661-255-1121. And um, just to fill people in on the crime, so these people were seen on camera uh, right next to the fountain before the fountain was vandalized, and it's um, you know it's not a harmless prank. It's it's several thousand dollars worth of damages, my understanding. Yeah, what the, what the um, it could. Yeah, it has the potential to do a lot of harm. What has happened to this fountain a couple of times now is that people have poured soap into it, dishwashing liquid, that types of things. And they think it's funny to make bubbles and suds the thing up. But, yeah, what they don't realize is it, it does do significant damage. Um, you know, they have to drain all the water. They have to scrub the thing completely down, change the filters. And if it should damage the pump, that's a huge fix. Again, so parts, maintenance, replacement, yeah, work, so labor. It's, uh, yeah, it's not a harmless prank at all. And... Um, you know, again, if you have any information, contact the sheriff station. And also, I just found this out. Apparently, there's a new software tool um, that you can anonymously file tips. Oh, absolutely. To the sheriff station, it's and, and you can check that out at tipsoft.com. Um, it works for iPhone and Android, and it allows you to submit images if you see something you, you you're worried about saying something or you know you're not sure. You can do it online anonymously, um, and so just check out tipsoft.com. Again, if you know anything about this inf this incident, April 9th, outside the Stevenson Ranch Fountain at around 1.30 in the morning, if you were hanging out there, Justin, um, please contact the Santa Clarita Valley Sheriff Station at 661-255-1121. And then also, just to let people know, th the way we get uh, a lot of these news tips sometimes is through Nixel, and Sheriff's Department officials put that out themselves. So if somebody wants the information, they can get it directly from uh, the Sheriff's Department or they can, you know, get our great write-ups at hometownstation.com. But they can also get it straight from the horse's mouth at Nixle. Um, if you type Nixle Santa Clarita, that's N-I-X-L-E, um, Santa Clarita, into your browser, you can sign up for the alerts, and it's specific to your neighborhood. Uh, if you live in Saugus, you can get the Saugus alerts. If you live in Canyon Country, either side, you can get those, or you can get all of them if you just like to know what a, everyone else's business um, you know, some well people put. do. We get calls from that. That's okay. We, you know, that's, it's better that, to have that. Better to have people, you know, seeing something and saying something than, you know, just mind their own business. So, encourage that, obviously. But that's out there for Nixle. And there's also the Santa Clarita Valley Sheriff Station's Facebook page where you guys engage with people and uh, Twitter account. Yes. Deputy Duxbury. Yep. You'll be sending out tweets and messages and stuff like that with the community. Um, and there's a couple outreach events coming up that we also want to talk about. There is a teen dating violence workshop that is being held in conjunction with law enforcement officials, the school district, and I believe the city as well. Um, and uh, as part of that, there's there's a couple events. There's that, and there's also the e-waste event. Yes. Let's talk about the teen dating violence workshop. You're a parent. Yes, I am. So you know more so than myself. I'm the most dreaded parent there is. <laughs> a Combat deputy, veteran a deputy parent. And a deputy sheriff. <laughs> yeah, deputy with a veteran 17 year old parent. girl. Oh, yeah. She doesn't get away with anything, does she? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, talk to me about 
this is a workshop um, just from your parenting experience. What types of do you get questions from parents as a deputy? Um, like, do you get concerns from the community? What types of things are we going to be talking about at this event? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, anyone with uh, with kids these days, you know, it, it's just a lot different than it was. There's a lot more out there that uh, we need to be aware of. And, uh, you know, having two 17-year-old girls myself and, uh, and a younger boy. You know, Everybody I, for the I, grace of God. I, I do, uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I, you know, I, I do worry about about these things but uh this is uh um, you know this is just this is going to be a really great event and it's um you know basically just a lecture to parents different things you can look out for watch out for and if you see these signs what you should do about it which you know should uh you know absolutely um you know report it immediately so so and what was so alarming was that when that uh information that was put out from uh the domestic violence center as well is that one in four teens will experience some kind of of incidents whether it's you know through a friend or or themselves be a victim or a party to it and it's um that's a startlingly high statistic it, it is and i think it's really acceptably high um so you know what we really need to do is encourage communication between the parents and their kids they have to understand that uh, if they are victims that was not their fault. They need to tell their parents right away so that we can uh, make it stop. And one thing that's great about this community is that there are a lot of resources out there for uh, mental health awareness. There's, um, you know, one of the, one of the events that was going on at College of the Canyons the last two days was Shine a Light, which is again they're trying to shine a light or a spotlight on uh, the mental health. Uh, resources in the community and there's there's a few at COC there's um, the Santa Clara mental health department um, there are numbers that we try to publish all the time if people uh, need need some help with something just maybe you're just working through something maybe you want to talk talk to somebody there's a number there they have resources on campus um, uh, you know not just for Justin but you know for everybody <laughs> just quietly quietly thinking about it it's okay let it sink in but the reality is, yeah, there there is help out there, and there are some there is some information at hometownstation.com as far as just increasing awareness, and, and the idea is to increase the other community members to be gatekeepers and to recognize if somebody has a problem. If you see something in a coworker, you just hey, say something, talk to them, offer help, reach out. It's it's a serious thing. I, I joke with Justin, but it's, it's obviously a very serious topic, and there there are there is help out there for for people seeking it. So that's important to let it know because oftentimes these issues will progress. They say into you know manifest domestic violence or you know untreated issues that, right. that can become a lot worse. So um, resources out there, and check out hometownstation.com for the list. And we'll we have to take a quick commercial break, but we'll be right back for our last segment on your neighborhood watch, brought to you by All American Bail Bonds. It is the Neighborhood Watch, and it's almost that time, Deputy Duxbury, where I have to let you go back onto patrol. What? I know. Where twice a month we're talking about Santa Clarita Valley Sheriff Station upre- outreach, crime prevention, law enforcement efforts. It's been a long week, Justin. I had a late night last night, all right? It was late breaking news. Can't get all the words right all the time. Okay? What you all do right. at the boo is your business. Exactly. The, the boo. <laughs> the boo. <laughs> Um, so yeah, no, I want to talk about the event, the, the Teen Dating Violence Awareness Workshop. Teen Dating Violence, what you need to know is the name of the event we were just talking about the last segment. It's going to be at Arroyo Seco Junior High uh, tonight at 6 p.m. So again, 1.5 million high school students suffer from physical abuse from their relationships. Um, and that's just from their, you know, their peers and their partners. So again, it's, it is an issue uh, across the nation. And there's going to be some information tonight from the Santa Clarita Valley Domestic Violence Center and CSUN and um, the Sheriff's Department, who also have officials there at this Heart District event. So definitely check it out, 6 p.m. tonight, Arroyo Seco Junior High. And the other event that's going on uh, this weekend, hosted by the uh, Sheriff's Department across from the street from the station, I believe, at the mall. Right. Uh, it's going to be at the, in the mall parking lot at the corner of uh, Citrus and Magic Mountain Parkway. What's, what's happening there? What are you guys that doing? That is going to be our safe and secure community collection event, also known as the Safe Shred. So I can drop off some of these old monitors I have? Absolutely. Some of these vacuum tube yep. TVs? Sure, sure. <laughs> no, basically uh, what they'll be doing is they'll be accepting all kinds of uh, documents and electronic waste uh, okay. for, for proper disposal. Um, it says uh, we accept all types of paper, empty binders, empty uh, expired credit cards, computer disks for shredding. It's a maximum of five boxes, 11 by 12 by 15, which I believe is a basic paper ream box okay. uh, per vehicle. So you can have five of those per vehicle. Can uh, I caravan? Sure. Bring all your friends. <laughs> Carpool? All right. Sure. And uh, as far as the electronic items, uh, those will be recycled. Um, they're taking anything that will plug into a basic home outlet. 
Okay. So computers, monitors, uh, appliances, TVs, that type of thing. Well, we're not taking those like dishwashers and fridges. No, right? they, they're not taking any kind of large appliances. Okay. Dishwashers, refrigerators, that type of thing. And it also says here that uh, they will not be taking engines, batteries, light bulbs, or household hazardous wastes, paint. That type Nothing of with stuff. chemicals that have like a warning that say don't dump this in the exactly. ocean. Exactly. Yeah, okay. that type of thing. But uh, anyway, enough. great event. A uh, good safe way to get rid of those kinds of things that you're concerned about. And it says support the sheriff station. Now, is there some sort of, does this benefit um, the agency in some way, or is this just kind of just another way that the station helps out to kind of get rid of this stuff? And yeah, no, it's, it's just, it's just a, a way of helping out our community okay. and helping people to uh, avoid identity theft and, uh, and dispose of these things properly. Right, and uh, yeah, again, you were talking about identity theft. Fa safety is the main thing and, and safely disposing of things. So again, free event, 7 a.m. to noon at the Westfield Mall parking lot, Citrus and Magic Mountain. Come on down, bring your stuff. What about, what about you know, identity theft tips? You were just giving the talk the other day. Anything you can just throw at us to, yeah, to I did remember, a you know, take I, I, with us for this next time until we come back in two weeks? I did a real quick talk uh, uh, for, a, for a retirement group talking about this kind of thing and um, there's only so much we can do about the big ones, you know, your, your health records and, and your bank accounts and all that that's in somebody else's hands. But your personal identity, there's a lot you can actually do with cross-shredding documents before you throw them away, uh, mailing, if you're mailing checks, take it to an actual post office to mail it. Don't leave it in your mailbox with the flag up. Uh, keep a good eye on your credit card uh, bills, your bank statements, your credit um, report. If you see things that don't seem right, then uh, you need to report it immediately or investigate into it and see what's going on. Be careful where you're using your debit card. Make sure you're keeping an eye on it if you have to physically hand it over. Uh, be cautious using public Wi-Fi mm. if you're going to be online paying bills. Another thing a lot of people don't realize, when you do go on vacation, you access those networks. Sometimes they're public and sometimes people are creeping on them. Yes, and, and this is uh, this has actually happened to me and the wife when she was paying bills using a public Wi-Fi. Trying to get some things done on vacation. And we got, uh, we got hit. So, um, so it's, yeah. Uh, yeah. Be, always be careful. Always, always be on a secure network and uh, take caution. You can follow the Perry Smith method and put everything under a mattress, but you're not going to get the best interest right, rate right. on there. <laughs> but it's safe. <laughs> but on, and, and on that note, if, if, you, if anybody wants to know more, I do do um, about a 45-minute lecture about identity theft. Um, so if you, if you ever need me to come to your, uh, to your homeowner's community or, or any kind of event, then I'm more than happy to come out and do that talk for you. So you just contact me at the station. And, you know, if you have any other questions for our sheriff's station deputies or a crime prevention unit zone leader, you can call the sheriff's station at 661-255-1121 and get their alerts by going Santa Clarita Nixel into your browser. That's N-I-X-L-E. So you can sign up for more information. Stay tuned in a couple weeks. We'll be back with the Neighborhood Watch and Deputy Kevin Duxbury bringing you all the crime prevention outreach and community awareness that you need in Santa Clarita Valley on your hometown station. For the Neighborhood Watch, brought to you by All-American Bell Bonds.